Number one, New York Times bestselling author Greg Isles is back with a new standalone thriller following his much talked about trilogy, Natchez Burning. Cemetery Road also takes place in Mississippi, a state which is a rich tapestry of locations, characters, and history of racial injustice. And Greg joins us this morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Glad to be here, Carly. Yeah, glad to have you here this morning. Congrats on the new book. There's a lot of buzz about it already, but there's also a lot of buzz about it. I want to hear about this accident that you had several years ago that I know the Washington Post just did an article on this uh, as well again, and I want to bring this up because it seems like uh, from the research that I did, it kind of really changed your career path and kind of your outlook on life. I want to hear a little bit more about that, Greg. You know, my, my book prior to the accident had gone number one, the first book I'd had, and I was at that point in my life where I thought I'd achieve my dreams. You know, you get kind of confident or overconfident. I pulled out on Highway 61, a truck hit my door going mm. 70, it ruptured my aorta, took my leg off, broke 20-something bones, and I woke up from a coma a week later. And uh, I had been working on a book about race in Mississippi and some real civil rights murders, but I wasn't doing it justice. And when I had that brush with death, I just decided I don't care anymore what my publisher thinks, what my neighbors think, people in the South. So I just wrote The Unvarnished Truth and it stretched to three novels. It took almost 10 years, mm. but luckily enough, that first book debuted at number two and people, you know, I didn't know if, how people would receive a book that was honest about race in the South, but it ended up being the right thing. And you're right, it changed my career. I think I've been taken more seriously yeah. since then and that's nice. Well, I think people are so hungry for the truth, and so bravo to you for saying, you know what, let's do it. Tell me about this latest book, though, and, uh, you know, it's interesting. I want to hear your thought, too, on, on writing a trilogy versus writing a standalone. You know, I don't know if there's ever, you know, do you just do the standalone and then maybe later go, wait, we can revisit this. We can make more to this. You know, th there is some unfinished business in that trilogy, and I get email every day, practically every hour, asking me to go on with that. But... You have to, um, it's exhausting to write realistically <laughs> sure. about subjects like that. And the, the new book, the new book is a much more personal book. And if you take away the crime elements, the murders, investigation, all that, at its core, it's a novel about two men in love with the same woman, two men from the same hometown. One leaves when he's 18 and becomes a successful journalist in D.C. The other one joins the military. Then he goes home and marries the woman they both love. And when the guy in D.C. is forced to go home to take care of his dying father and run the newspaper there, there, you know, you have all three principals in the same town. And so that's a recipe for trouble. And then you also deal a lot in this book with small town corruption, which is uh, pretty much an epidemic everywhere has been my experience. Well, I hate to talk too soon, but just with you describing it there, it sounds like it could be a good either TV show script, maybe a movie script. Has there been any buzz about that? Any interest that you can share? There, yeah, sure. I'm not going to share anything. I've le <laughs> look, I learned on Natchez Burning. I had, a huge, I had a huge deal at Amazon, and my lead actor sort of uh, messed that up. And oh, so I've no. learned to, like, be very cool until cameras start rolling, you know? Yeah. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. And uh, we, we're excited about this one and, and what's next after this, because we know you're not done yet. I'm working on about three different things, and I, I'm not going to give any spoilers, Carly, okay. but I'm hard at work. At least so you're I working. That's what we want to hear. Be patient. <laughs> Thank you so much, Greg. There you go. Thank you.